Hey everybody, it's Benny Wanda and I'm back at you with a movie review today and today we're going to be reviewing the newest DC animated movie, Superman, Man of Tomorrow everybody. So this movie actually kicks off, I'm pretty sure they're going to start kicking off a new um, animated universe with this movie because uh, they, I would say in the movie they actually do introduce a lot of characters and a little like tidbits and little easter egg things that hint that they are going to do a new animated universe so and i feel like that had a lot to do with this movie actually more than i thought it was going to because um there are characters in here like lobo martian the manhunter is in this movie um they easter egg drop batman a few times so they're setting up this new universe, which is cool, because our last one ended with uh, Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, so I'm excited that they're going to do a new one, and so let's talk about the good stuff about this movie. The thing that I really, I love the new animation, I love the new artwork and the animation that they're using in this movie, and if they, I hope if they continue on to make a new universe with this, I hope they keep this animation style. I really enjoy it. I liked what they did with the last one, but this one to me seems like it's more comic booky. Like they took it right out of the pages of the comic books because all the characters are outlined with like black and stuff. So I don't know. They just seem to pop more. And it's another origin story of Superman basically, but they kind of they don't, like, they breeze over the stuff that we know, kind of like with Batman. We know Superman came from Krypton. We know he was a baby. We know the planet exploded. He flew to Earth. He landed in Kansas on the farm. We know all that crap. Like, everyone that, even people that don't really, like, are obsessed with comic books, we all know that stuff. So, I really appreciated that they kind of breezed over that. And they just kind of were acting like they know that already. We don't need to like load them up with that again. They they touched on it and they showed it like there were little parts that they mentioned and like little things when he was a kid as Clark and like so. But it reminded me of Man of Steel where they didn't solely focus like the first 20 minutes of the movie to tell you Superman's origin story again because we know Superman's origin story so... And I love the design of uh, Metropolis. It reminds me of the the Superman animated show back in the late '90s. Like I love the design of Metropolis. It kind of has that futuristic look to it because that's what Metropolis is supposed to look like. It's very light, vibrant, and has a futuristic look to it. So, and all of our characters are very young in this. Very, very young. Like I would say. Superman's usually like 30, 32 when he starts to become Superman. I would say he's more around the age of like 27, 26. They don't say in the movie because like Lois Lane is a uh, fresh intern that just gets like promoted at the Daily Planet in this movie. So like they're very young, <clears throat> which I like. So the fight scene between him and Lobo, bad ass lobo is great in this movie you guys great um lex luther's in it of course perry white i didn't see jimmy olsen but pretty much everybody that was there ma and pa can't they were all there in the movie um martian the manhunter was good i liked what they did with his character he was kind of there to be superman's like aid somewhat and like help him along you know and that's what he does though that's what Martian the Manhunter in the past because the Martians knew of the Kryptonians and they got along with them. They were friends, so it only makes sense that he would help them out on Earth. So the one, I guess, and then Parallax. Parallax is the big main villain in the movie. And they did something with Parallax that I have never seen. Um, or no, not Parallax. Holy crap. Parasite. Parallax is in Green Lantern. Good Lord. Parasite is this Superman villain that has these powers to suck and absorb energy from living things and also just, like, power and stuff. And he kills them when he does that. So he can absorb, like, Superman's power and energy and all that stuff. But they did something in this movie I have never seen them do with Parasite. Like, ever. 
I'm not going to say what they did because I don't want to spoil like that part of the movie for sure. It was interesting. I don't really know if I liked it, to tell you the truth. Um, I just finished watching it last night, so I don't know if I liked it. It was kind of odd to me, I guess, to take his character that route. So, I don't know. And then I also kind of thought that the movie did try and focus a little bit too much on building the new universe in a way. Like, I felt like for it being, you know... Superman's coming out thing and showing himself to the world I felt like it was a little bit weak when it came to that aspect of the movie just a little not too much but yeah I felt it was an interesting it was a different take on it so but I appreciate different takes on stuff so so yeah guys overall I enjoyed it um I'm I'm probably I'm gonna give this one like a 7.5 out of 10 it's not one of my favorite DC animated movies that they're doing but if this is kicking off a new animated universe it's it's good it's it's just a good way to kick off a new animated universe and like I said I love the art style I love the animation so I hope they stick with it 7.5 out of 10 everybody so that was my review for Superman Man of Tomorrow hope you guys enjoyed that review if you guys are new smash that subscribe button that like button and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you keep getting all my updated videos and I be catching y'all on tube laters because I have spoken.